Hi guys, my name is Averse. For those of you who don't know me, I stream this game over at twitch.tv forward slash Averse daily, and I'm currently ranked one on the kills ladder for the North American solo leaderboards. I'm here today to give you a brief combat and movement guide. The first thing I want to go over is what I call things in the Neurocopedia, because I have my own uh, names for them, and I don't want to cause any confusion. So focus strikes, I call charge attacks, common attacks, I call light attacks, and counter strikes, I call parries. So just for clarity's sake, I want to go over that because I will be saying those names throughout this video. Now, the first thing I want to go over, which is arguably the most important thing you need to learn, is tap dodge and hold dodge. Um, the pros of using a tap dodge is it has a longer lasting iframe. It's important to note that when you're doing a tap dodge, if you tap dodge the opposite way your character is facing, so backwards, you will have the longest iframe, as tap dodging backwards has the longest iframe. And um, yeah, let me let me show you what they look like first. So this is what a tap dodge looks like. This is what a hold dodge looks like. Sorry, I messed that up. This is what a hold dodge looks like. Like that, okay. Now I'm gonna show you it in combat because it's a little easier to see. This is a uh, hold dodge. You see how the action comes out very fast because the pro to a hold dodge is your next action comes out extremely fast. And then uh, this is a tap dodge. I'll show it one more time. As you can see, the character stops and I'm not able to input my next action as fast. That is the fastest I can input my next action. So the pro of a tap dodge is longer lasting iframe. The longest iframe is when you, when you tap dodge backwards. And a hold dodge, it has many pros. It can be used for movement. It can be used for um, combat. It can be used for getting out your next attack. Uh, yeah. The next thing I want to show you is the four ways to cancel a charge attack. Uh, we're going to go crouch, jump, dodge, and then the last way, I don't really have a name for it, so I'm going to reference it as underrated. Um, the first way is crouch. The second way is jump. The third way is dodge. Now, dodge is very important because this is where the hold dodge comes in. I'm going for a charge, dodge, light attack. Going for a charge, dodge, light attack. Now this is why hold dodging is essential because especially with this, it is really, really beneficial to use in combat. And the last way, which we're calling underrated, is when you go for a charge attack, you let go of your right click and then you press your left click simultaneously. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Holding right click, let go of right click, left click. Holding right click, let go of right click. Oh, oops, messed it up. The timing is very tight, um, and it's important to note that you can only do this before the first charge. So as soon as you hear that noise, the charge, you can only do this before that first charge. Whereas crouch, jump, and dodge, you can do it after the first charge. See? But this, if you try to do it, if you try to do it after the charge, it doesn't work. So you have to do it before the first charge. Um, the the underrated way, the reason I call it underrated is because I don't see any player using it. I see, I see the rank one player use it a lot, which is Kun, and it's extremely hard to fight. So the next thing I want to show you is some scale rush tips and what exactly is scale rush. So when you're hanging onto a tree or a wall or anything where you have this animation, basically, you can hold left click and let go. Now, the fun thing about Scale Rush after the most recent, or like two patches ago, is when you're hanging onto anything but a tree, like if you're hanging onto a tree like this and you left click instantly, you do this. But if you're hanging onto a wall and I left click instantly, I do this. Now, it's important to note on a tree, if you're hanging onto a branch like so, oh, if I can get up to the branch. If you left click on a branch, it does this. So when you left click on the branch, it doesn't technically count as the uh, the base of the tree, I guess, and you can scale rush instantly off of it. Um, when you're on the base of a tree though, you can hold left click. 
It just won't work with the tapping of a left click because you'll fly up the tree. Okay, those are all the tips I have for pretty much basic to like intermediate combat. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is some movement stuff. So for the movement, we have a couple things. The first thing I want to go over is slide jump. So slide jump is when you press C plus space bar while running. So it looks like this. Um, the things to note about slide jump is you have to be running before you sleep before you press C, so you slide. And you want to tap your spacebar. You don't want to hold your spacebar, because if you hold your spacebar, it looks like this. You get this long, clunky animation. The benefits to slide jumping are that it's faster than regular walking, and it makes your character extremely hard to hit by ranged projectiles if people are aiming at you. The next thing I want to talk about is hold dodge movement. Hold dodge movement is exactly what we talked about before, but just it, it's just for movement. Um, if you ever watch my stream, or if you ever watch any good player stream for that for that uh, matter, they will use this 24/7. Um, it's it's really fast. It's really versatile. It's quick. It's speedy. You can use it in combat. You can use it to get around the map. You can use it like when you're fighting your opponent. You can change direction really fast. You can hold charge attacks. It, it's it makes you very hard to predict. It also makes you it makes your movement unpredictable, it makes your movement fast, it makes your movement rapid. The opponent will have to be just guessing on the fly. It's extremely important you add this into your gameplay, the whole dodge movement. Now, um, the next thing I'm going to show you, I, I don't have a name for it. I call it bone pistol movement, but probably should be a name added for it. Um, so basically all this is, I'm going to show what it is first, and then I'll, I'll uh, tell you my key, my key presses. Basically all I'm doing is I'm holding down my left click like I'm about to shoot a shot, and then I'm pressing shift, spacebar, shift, spacebar. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure you keep track of your stamina, because if you don't have enough stamina, I'll show you what it looks like. If you don't have enough stamina, it looks like this. You'll just be stuck here aiming until you can actually press shift again, okay? And um, when you do this, make sure you let go of left click after each shift jump. Because if you don't let go of left click, you're gonna go right back into it and you might not be ready for it. So only hold left click when you're ready to do it. And this can also be done with a pistol. Same exact thing. Hold left click like you're ready to shoot and then shift jump. Um, and now similarly to that, uh, air walking is kinda, kinda the same thing. Um, let me get a greatsword, because greatsword shows this off very well. So, air walking uh, is not the same exact key presses, but the concept is the same. The timing is a lot tighter, and it's harder to do. So I'll show you what it looks like at first. So it looks like that, okay? Basically, what you do is you left click in the air, and then there is a very precise window where you can input another jump, which refreshes your left click, and you can do it again. If you do it correctly, it'll look like that. If you do it incorrectly, you're going to fall straight to the ground. You, bas basically, you just need to get the timing right for that jump. If, you're, if your jump timing is right, you can air walk. You'll be able to air walk perfectly. Um, if you mess up the jump timing, though, you're going to fall straight to the ground. So that, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, just basic slash intermediate. Well, uh, honestly, there's, aside from like combos and everything, th this is pretty much the fundamentals that any player uses in combat and moving. Uh, moving. You, you can combine all these into gameplay, it, especially if you watch my live stream or any other good player, you will see all of the things I showed you on stream. Uh, maybe not the air walking and bow and pistol movement, as many players, including myself, don't use that too much. I use the bow and pistol movement quite a bit, but I know other players don't. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please let me know. If you have suggestions for other videos in the future, uh, that would be very appreciated. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you guys want to see advanced combat guide, advanced movement guide, uh, combo tutorials. Just please let me know. It goes a long way in helping me choose what to do next. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.